Hey guys, it's Jackson here with VAT's Lawn Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well today. So, um, well, uh, before you all say anything, no, this is not mine. I'm simply demoing it. Um, uh, so, I, it is not mine, and I don't plan to buy one right now. That doesn't mean I will never buy one. But, uh, so, this is a Skag V-Ride XL. Uh, this is uh, Skag's newest stand-on mower that they released this year. This one is a 61 inch in particular. It's got the 38 and a half horse Kawasaki FX1000V electronic fuel injection. It's also got the electronic throttle cable. So uh, I uh, reached out to my dealership about, about this mower because I wanted to try to see how it compared to the V-Ride 2. Um, so uh, basically, uh, here are my thoughts on it. This mower is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not really partial to Skag, but I mean, I do like the stuff they make. I mean, you guys know me, I, I love my Skags. And uh, I mean, at first I was a little apprehensive about this one because I mean, a 61 inch stand on to me is a little, for, for what, for me, I'm not saying for everyone else. I see a lot of guys using 61 inch stand ons like the Wright ZKs, the X Mark Vertexes and stuff like that. But uh, for me, I just think that a 61 stand on would be a little silly, but after using this mower, it's completely changed my perspective on it. Um, because I've, I've used it for probably, uh, for a few hours now. And, um, you know, my whole perspective on using a 61 stand on has changed. Uh, but I'm going to go over a couple things I don't like and a couple things that I do like. So We'll start with uh, a pretty obvious one. So, like the V-Ride 2, the muffler is right above the middle spindle, and that kind of make, makes it a pain in the butt to uh, change blades without using a wrench, but, I mean, it's it's not... I mean, it's, it's little things like that that just are a little, you know, annoying, but, I mean, it's not like a make-it-or-break-it sort of thing. Um... I want to say these tires look a little small, but I mean, I don't really think they'd go any bigger, so I can't really say much about that. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go out, start off with the things I don't like first. So if we go under here, uh, under the uh, comfort pad, uh, um, there's this little compartment for the battery right here and uh don't really like how it's not really that accessible like i mean you kind of gotta get in there get your hands all cramped in there but i mean like i, I don't know where else they would have put it considering the fact that they have added another gas tank but uh, i just feel like that could have been maybe this could have been you know put out a little more you know better <laughs> um uh, let's see here. What else? Oh, yeah. This is a uh, one thing I didn't. I'm not. I'm not sure I like. I don't like how long this is, and it doesn't look like it's you know very strong. I mean, like there's a little bit of flex to it. Uh, now on the V-Rod 248, um, my, a buddy of mine has that. We've had to change uh, the same exact length twice because of an accidental wheelie we had to pull. And it's just, you know, it was a really, it was really difficult to change it. Uh, because not only did this bend, it also bent uh, this up here. Now, this is not the V-Ride 248. This is the 61-inch XL. So, I mean, they're two completely different machines. But, you know, I just, that the setup is a little similar, I feel like. So, I just, I hope that, that that's updated and whatnot. But, I mean, it, it could be completely different. It could be the same exact thing. Uh, I'm just, I'm not sure yet. But, I mean, I mean, aside from those things there, I'll tell you what I do like about it. I've run a 61-inch V-Ride 2 before, and I don't know what it is, but this thing just feels 10 times faster than one of them things, and even though they're the same exact size and they got it has the same engine. Uh, I, I mean... I didn't think two miles an hour would make really make a difference, but it, it does for some reason. I don't know why, but it it, just, it does. Um, so these have uh, bigger hydro pumps, which means it goes a little bit faster, which is always nice. It's 
It's got the 61 inch velocity deck. You all know the velocity deck. I mean, some of y'all might hate it. Some of y'all might love it like I do, but I mean, it's probably one of the greatest cutting decks in the industry. All up there with Xmark, Wright, and you know, all the other good brands like Hustler, all, all, all up there. You know, this deck makes a good cut. Um, so, I mean, it's got the 61 velocity deck. Uh, you know, visibility wise, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I feel up a little bit taller than I do on the V-Ride 2, um, and that's, you know, I feel like that's something people don't really, uh, look at a bunch, because, like, you know, having to go under trees and stuff like that, but, I mean, it really doesn't, like, affect anything from a user standpoint, um, but you just, you kind of notice it whenever, uh, you're not thinking about it, I guess, <laughs> if, that, if that makes sense, but, um, uh, and some things I do like about this unit is, uh, the accessibility on it, it seems to be very, uh, simple. Uh, you know, like, um, you know, here's the back panel right here. Pop it off like so. And right here, under here, is your hydro pulleys and belts, your filters. Here's your clutch right there. Uh, you need to change the belt to make it go down lower, you can. If you need to take the clutch off, you can. I mean, uh, there's your grease uh, points right there. Um, let's see. And then uh, here's your uh, your uh, reservoir drain right here, so when you need to change the hydraulic fluid. Um, right here is uh, the oil drain tube. It goes all the way up. Uh, I'll show you. Coming up through here. There's the little, uh, let's see if I can get my phone in here. Yeah, there it is right there. That little silver piece right there goes all the way down and then you're able to drain your oil that way. Um, it gets a little tight up in here, but I mean, you can still get in there. If you need to change the fuel pump, you can still do it. It's, it's not a huge deal. Um, and the overall size of this thing with twills on it, uh, that's what I was impressed with. I mean, from the back, I thought this thing was a freaking 72 or something, which, you know, like, I don't know. I've run the 72 XL before, and it just, it doesn't look as big without, it doesn't look that big with uh, without twills on it, but then you put the twills on it, it's freaking massive. So, um, I mean, the overall size of this thing is just impressive. It's very large, and it seems like it's very well built, you know? Um... Now, from the dealer, I've heard a lot of people having hydro issues like the lines deteriorating or something like that. I don't know enough about it. I just hear that's a problem that some people have been having. Uh, but, I mean, my brother has an, a 52-inch XL, and he hasn't had any issues out of it like that yet. Um, so, I mean, I can't really say from experience that I've had that problem. No, I know it's, this is the first year it's been out, so it might have a couple kinks and whatnot. Just, that's pretty much with anything that's new for the first year. It'll have some kinks that need to be worked out. I mean, I guarantee you this tomorrow or next year will be a lot better. It may, might even have a few updates. But, I mean, from that standpoint, I mean, I haven't seen any problems out of this mower yet. There is one more thing I wanted to point out. So, um, when you let the deck down to the desired cut height, uh, it doesn't really lock to the pin, and uh, if you go over a bump that you can't really see, the deck just jars right up and down. Now, that might be adjustable with these springs here. I'm not sure because I, I don't want to mess with it, and I don't want to play, play around with it, but uh, that might be adjustable. If you guys know anything about that, uh, let me know down in the comments because I'd be really interested because sometimes I, I hit bumps and this deck just bounces up and down like no one's business. Uh, but that is another thing. This thing has six inches of cut height. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen a stand on mower do that yet. I mean, I might have. I mean, hell, the Hustler Super SF might do it, or the the, uh, the Vertex X series. Uh, I haven't uh, checked out those mowers comp uh, comprehensively yet, but I, I, I'm sure I will. So, um, but yeah, guys, I mean, this thing is just... And it's really not that hard to uh, lift this lever up either. Like, I thought that was going to be something that's going to be uh, 
very difficult, but it, I mean, it's not. So, I mean, all around, I, I feel that this is a, a good machine. Um, uh, I'd say, I'd, I'd say it's worth the extra two grand because I mean, you're, uh, you're getting better hydro pumps, you know, you're getting more cut height. You know, I think you might be able to do, you might be, be able to do just as much with the V-Ride 2 as you would with this thing, but you might be able to do it differently, if that makes sense. You know, like, uh, me and my dealer said that, uh, the 61-inch V-Ride 2 shouldn't be made anymore, but then I thought about it. The, v, the 61 V-Ride 2 is a very popular unit in this area. I mean, regardless of what size engine's on it, I mean, it could have the 25-horse Kawasaki, could have the 38 and a half horse, could have the 37 horse Vanguard, or it could have the uh, the 40 horse Vanguard. It could have the 38 and a half horse Kohler. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like that's a popular mower in this area. I mean, I know a guy uh, who has probably 12 61 inch V-Ride twos and he doesn't even have one of these because I mean, well, I mean, he didn't, I don't think he bought any new ones this year, but uh, he said that it didn't sound like it was worth uh, an extra $2,000 and they were only two miles an hour quicker, which I understand that. You know, but uh, I, now that I use this, I kind of see uh, the benefits of it over the V-Ride 2. I'm not saying the V-Ride 2 is any is any worse than this because, like, I feel like a 52-inch version of one of these is a little overkill. I mean, the, the V-Ride 2 52 as is is pretty, pretty beefy. So I think that uh, this one as a 61 and a 72 would do just fine. Um, uh, and, you know like but i mean that's just my opinion guys i know everyone's different out there there we all have our opinions you know we're all in this industry for our own reasons i mean you know like again it's your all's decision i'm not trying to tell you all to go buy one of these i'm just giving you guys my honest opinion if if you all are thinking about one of these um so i just figured i would go into detail about it so uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed uh, the comprehensive review on the Skag V-Ride XL. Uh, I might shoot some mowing footage with it. I might not. I'm not sure yet. But uh, uh, I mean, this is uh, my video on it. So uh, I hope you guys look at it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.